And here we go, some more breaking news out of Miami. They're making another solid signing after bringing Davion Nix and Isaiah Mack. They realized, okay, this wasn't good enough. So according to Ian Rappaport, the Dolphins are expected to sign Cowboys defensive lineman Neville Gallimore. The former third round pick reunites with his D-line coach Austin Clark in Miami. And Clark and Gallimore have trained together recently. This is going to be an interesting one, and we're going to break it all down for you in this video. I'll let you know everything you need to know about Neville Gallimore going forward and what he brings to Miami. Now, before we get into that, though, do me a big favor and comment down below a letter grade for the Dolphins so far this season. Obviously, they bring in Jordan Brooks, Saran Neal, Jordan Poyer, Davion Nixon, Anthony Walker, Shaq Barrett, right? They did so much to this defense, and now Neville Gallimore, this Miami Dolphins, Dolphins team is trying to load up to go get over that hump and maybe even compete for a championship next season. Now, if you think they are, comment down below the number one. Also, subscribe so you guys get all the Dolphins information right when it happens. But with that being said, let's dive right into Neville Gallimore. Now, the one thing that stands out about Neville Gallimore is he's an absolute unit. 300 pounds. I mean, look at him over the middle, right? Watch what he does to this offensive lineman. Just push. He's right here, by the way. Pushes him, pushes him, put all the way back into the quarterback and ends up getting the sack. I mean, this is the type of stuff you see like in Madden, right? This is some unbelievable strength by Neville Gallimore. And now he's bringing it to the Miami Dolphins. Now, the one thing I know about the Miami Dolphins is they struggled last season in terms of, you know, sometimes stopping the run. But most of the season, they were insane. Now, what I mean by that is in the red zone, they were 19th in terms of stopping rushing touchdowns. I think Neville Gallimore is a guy that will be able to step right in and be able to help out in that atmosphere at the at the jump, right? Now, over his four-year career, he's telling up 90 tackles, 40 of those were solo, four sacks, but 12 run stuffs. The man hasn't been a full-time player the entirety of his career, but we know one thing about him. He is going to help you win football games with his pure strength. Now, again, we see the eye formation goal line. This is where I think Neville Gallimore will get the most of his playing time here in Miami. Again, 20, only 27 years old as well, so still young, still developing a little bit. But this is where you're going to get at him, right? You're going to get a handoff here, and then boom, right away, just met with Neville Gallimore. Now, let's back it up and see where he initiated this from, um, if we can. Looks like it's going to load. Looks like it froze. But with that being said, guys, I don't know why that happened. But let's try it again here. So where's Neville Gallimore? Looks like he's right here. So here we go. We got some pre-stat motion. And then just absolutely boom. Right? No chance. He got a rare rare combination of that size, speed, quickness, power. Absolutely demoralizes him right there. I mean, that is actually kind of fun to watch. I mean, let's see if we can back it up one more time. This is some beautiful stuff right here. But obviously last season, um, they were number one in sack percentage. I don't think Neville Gallimore will come in here and get you more than two, three sacks a season, but he's someone that can play around the goal line and just be someone you like to have, right? Now at nose tackle, they have Brandon uh, Philly. Um, Isaiah Mack might play a little there as well. Davion Nixon could as well, but I feel like Neville Gallimore just adds one depth and a guy you can really be a spot starter and you won't be too mad about it, right? He's a, a guy that maybe not might not be a full-time starter, but he also could be, right? So I, I really do like this signing. Uh, I think it's going to uh, be plus for me. Comment down below your letter grade for it down below. Um, he's a guy who's gone basically one sack per season. Um, as well as, uh, you know, like three or four run stuff throughout the year as well. So we'll see what happens um, in Miami. But I personally do like this addition for them going forward. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next Miami breakdown. Peace.